Deep foam sheet extrusion line. The raw material of deep foam sheet extrusion line is high pressure polyethylene. It is fed into the extruder with the LD55BE by automatic loading equipment. The talcum powder is fed into the unloading equipment through the Italy double screw and then enter into screw to plasticize. The anti-shrinking agent is injected into spiral tube by GMS pump to mix with raw materials. The function is to prevent the product's shrinking. The liquid butane will be injected into the screw tube through the high-pressure butane pump to foam. After cooling by the screw tube, the plasticized blend materials will extrude out from the nose. After the product reaching the length customer requires, the meter counter will alarm automatically, and then change the row, weigh, pack and enter into warehouse. We have the following equipment models, DIP 90, DIP 105, DIP 120, DIP 150, DIP 170, DIP 200, and so on. Their daily capacity is about 8 tons, 7 tons, 4 tons, 7 tons, 10 tons, and 12 tons separately. The customer can choose the proper model according to actual demand. We are also very glad to research, calculate, and recommend the needed model. Deep foam sheet equipment features 1. Loading automatically, alarming automatically without materials. 2. Adopt Italy talcum powder automatic loading equipment, controlled by double screw frequency conversion, which makes the talcum powder inject steadily and accurately. 3. Adopt cycle water to cool with the features of stable temperature, accuracy, and quick temperature reduction. For the die screen changer is international famous brand. Hydraulic equipment adopts import electromagnetic valve and motor which can change the net quickly and without leaking materials. 5. The die pressure adopts diaphragm manometer and equips with die temperature display to guarantee the stability of the sheet quality. 6. Wind changes automatically and it alarms when the product reaches the fixed length and time. 7. Deep foam sheet has the features of less investment, fast efficiency, and new equipment, new techniques, new products, less pollution, less material, less cost, and high technology content.